doors. Our jumper car needs doors. Technically, to race, we don't need doors, but I've decided that we shall have doors. So uh, we have two Lamborghini doors and a Lamborghini door hinge kit. Now it's not, you know, uh, Lamborghini Huracan door hinge kit. It's a generic eBay special, straight from China, Lambo door hinge kit that you would put on a Honda Civic. And I cannot wait to figure out how we're gonna install it onto this vehicle. So let's get everything opened up and laid out and take a look at it. The goodies are unboxed and we got beer. So this door came from the guys over at Mullins where this vehicle also came. Actually, they're the same color. This door might've came off of this vehicle. I'm not really sure, but uh, Mullins not only hooked us up with the whole chassis to do this build, but they're ho hooking us up with parts as well. So huge shout out to Mullins. And when we opened up the shipment with the door, it came in and said, race hell and praise Dale. Here's a 12 pack of Midwestern Bush light. So we'll be uh, celebratorily drinking these things as we, do this crazy thing. So check out Mullins guys. There's a link in the description. Go follow them on Instagram. Show them some love. Link is also in the description and it's on the screen right here. So door, other door that I got on eBay, just to tell you like, just to, the, the cost of Lamborghini stuff, why we're staying away from so much OEM Lamborghini stuff on this build, that door cost me $4,000 and it's not even like a complete door. There's no handle, there's no latching mechanism, there's no window, there's no nothing. It's just the door shell and, it was, and it's damaged. It's got a dent right here and some denting running down here and it still costs $4,000, which is just insane. But that's the cost of the Lambo life. So here's our hinge kit and it is massive and it means we're gotta do a lot of fabrication to be able to mount these things on here. But I do think it's gonna be worth it because A, it's gonna be hilarious. And B, I think with all the door bars and roll cage stuff that we have to have going through here, a door that gets the hell out of the way and goes all the way up is actually gonna make it a little easier to get out of this vehicle when we want to. So we've got a game plan. We gotta start by building a plate that is gonna bolt into those hinges and it's gonna uh, adapt to bolt into the uh, door's stock mounting points. So Kyle's gonna build a template through here. We're gonna cut out some really thick steel and build a plate that we can uh, bolt into the door and then also bolt into the hinge. has built the mounting plate that we're gonna integrate into the hinge. Now we're gonna go ahead and slap this door on that side over there and we're gonna throw a ratchet strap around the car to hold it in place. And then uh, we are gonna test fit the hinge and see if this is ever gonna be possible. Fingers crossed. We got a hinge on a door. This looks badass. This is a beefy hinge, and this is gonna be probably somewhat exposed, and I don't mind that. I like the look of this thing. So uh, Kyle built this uh, backing plate right here on the door, bolts into the door right here, and then the hinge bolts into the backing plate. That gives us a nice secure mechanical connection to the door, same spots that they do OEM. That's normally where they go. So now we gotta work on mounting this hinge to the vehicle. We're gonna have to build some more material off of here, uh, some aluminum, and then there's some 
nice spots right here and here that we can actually drill through so we can do a nut and a bolt. Again, getting that really strong mechanical connection. So this is actually coming together uh, very well. I'm very excited about how this is going. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this off, uh, make some changes. We're gonna space this off by about um, a half an inch, a little shy of a half an inch. Uh, this is steel. I thought it was aluminum. It's actually steel. So what we've been doing is welding on steel where we need to. So we're gonna weld a couple steel plates on the back of this to give it a little bit of build off. And then we're gonna cut our pieces of aluminum to reinforce the back here so we can get a couple good bolts in the back here and it'll help add a little bit more reinforcement to the frame. Look at that hinge. We have figured out how to mount a Chinese eBay Lamborghini door hinge on a Lamborghini. So we had to build a bunch of structural reinforcement through here. This is this is normally on the car. This is us, this is us. We welded in another support plate underneath there so we'd have a good mounting spot and then it comes down. So overall, that's pretty good. Reinforces the structure. Now, what everybody wants to see, how does it work? Well, quite nicely. So the door opens up like this. And I guess, you know, in theory, if you just wanted to jump out of your car like that, it probably wouldn't be too hard. But then when we go to lift, it goes to right about here. And it looks epic. Here, Kyle, you wanna hold this and I'll show you. So if I step back away, as you can see, that is a, <laughs> I'm so happy we did this. It's kind of silly, but it's worth it. So um, you can see, Right down here, we have all of these points right here to be able to mount some uh, gas struts that are gonna help open the door and keep it open when it's open. So that is what Kyle and I are gonna focus on right now. And then while that's going on, Oscar's gonna continue working on this side to build, to uh, install this reinforcement plate right here that goes up to here. And you can see he already got the plate up there. Well, this got interesting fast. So here's what we did. We built a mounting tab right here and that's where our gas shock is gonna go. It's, we're having a really tough time compressing that gas shock, but that's another problem. Uh, the other thing that we kind of realized that we have to figure out, since the gas shock is so powerful, we have to figure out the limiting in this thing. And this thing has a groove in the back, so it's, it's limited at a certain point. It doesn't wanna move for me at all right now. You can go this far and then it stops. But uh, it's got all these nice circles, but the pin doesn't fit in any of them like you would think it would. So anyways, we're gonna have to drill out uh, another pin right here and then try and drill out a hole and install this pin right here, throw that in there, throw that whole thing in there and hopefully then it will stop because we what we didn't want to have happen is since that gas shock is so hard, we don't want to just be smashing the door into the car every time we open it. So this is getting a little bit more technical and a little bit more modification-y than, uh, than we planned for a, a silly fun mod, but hey, we're in it now. And this is our harebrained idea for trying to keep the gas shock closed. <laughs> so we've used a floor jack to smash it into the table and that holds it there. And then when we let the floor jack go, it just rips the welding wire out. 
uh, every time. So we're just, uh, you know, troubleshoot, working our way through this. We've tried ratchet straps, it just stabs holes in the ratchet straps. We've tried, we've tried a lot of things. It's really tough. That gas shock is, it takes my entire weight and I'm over 200 pounds, so it definitely is a strong one. All right, we got this thing taken apart and adjusted the stopping pin and uh, now the door opens straight up to the maximum right where we want it. Still this point hits like, gets to right around here somewhere. Um, and it's really close, it's perfectly where we want it. Now the last problem is we can't compress this damn gas strut. We've gotten down to the point where we have to build a tool out of all threads. So it's two different sizes, but it'll work. We're gonna put a plate with a bit of a dimple on it to hold that ball right there on the plate. And then on both sides of the plate, we'll have a nut and a bolt that'll go over this all thread and we'll just screw it down. And then once we get it in place, we can unscrew it. So this is our new gas strut compression tool. Desperate. <laughs> It was just ripping the welding wire apart. Every time we'd let it go, it's so strong. You ever have one of those build days where you spend two hours building some wacky ass tool just to find out that it's not gonna allow your part to go in? So we built our spring compressor, strut compressor. We compressed it and uh, the top is not allowing us to go into our top hole, so. Should work? So. Back to the drawing board. All right, well, we built a thing. The problem is, is there's a weak point right here that we've been holding with the vise, and we're not really sure if it's all just gonna fall to hell as soon as we uh, take it out of the vise, but now's the time to find out, so. Okay. We're hoping it just collapses onto itself and catches itself, but uh, we'll find out. I see, I see twisting in our future. Oh, oh look at that. all right. Okay. Let's see if we can get it on the car. Oh, it'll fit. Okay, we just gotta trim these bottom, yeah. these bottom things are hidden. But that'll fit in there. Okay, let's trim those off and bring it back. Whoever made these door hinges just did not think about this gas shock dilemma. Maybe they did. They're just like, oh, they'll figure it out. Yeah, however you say that in Chinese is exactly what they said. <laughs> Oscar's made modifications for maximum ball swing. Sorry, ball joint swing. For the second? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna work. It was all about that ball swing angle. Yeah. I think this strut is gonna be so strong, it's just gonna rip the door off. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna smash the door into the A-pillar. By the way, for the record, that dent in the A-pillar was there before we started. That guy right there. That was before we started, so that's not the okay. fault. Yeah, it wasn't. It's not the fault of the Lambo doors. All right, we'll get this thing bolted in and then return back when we see what happens when this thing gets unscrewed. All right, we got our shock in here and there's just one small problem. Oscar, you wanna go ahead and show them the, uh, just a small problem. That's, that's where the door wants to sit and we want the door to be, so it sits there on its own. We want the door to be all the way like that so it's really easy for the driver to get out. So one shock isn't enough. The instructions said to use two. We didn't believe them because we don't have a full door so we figured eh, it'd probably be okay. But we were wrong so now we need to add another shock. The way that we're gonna do that is by doubling this one up because this one looks, I, if we have one here and we have another one parallel to it, we think it looks pretty cool. So we're gonna build a tab. This is steel, it looks like aluminum is actually steel. We're gonna weld a tab like kind of in that void spot where my finger is. It'll bolt through there and then it's gonna bolt through the frame right here. This is really nice thick cast aluminum right here. And it's gonna go through there to there and then this door will be fully loaded. <laughs> like when, it, when it opens, it's gonna open. So we're gonna go ahead and fab all that stuff up, get it bolted in, and uh, show you what it looks like.
the door goes up and it stays up. And you know what? We managed to do it with one gas strut. So here's the deal. We had to get the maximum leverage so this thing was really just pushing the door when it was when it was full open. When we did two, we tried doing two. We had this one installed and this one, and the door was like impossible to close. It would have been really, really a pain. Now it's just a, you know, like here's just you can see, it's just one finger, one finger down. And the door closes pretty nicely. It's got a little pressure. You can tell it's a little loaded right there, but there you go. And then, so if you just like fling your door open to the point where the hinge allows it to go, it'll go about like that. And then you just got to give it the little, little light touch to go all the way up, up. And that looks awesome. That's exactly what we wanted to do. And I'm glad we got it done with one gas truck. Cause yeah, two was a, <laughs> two was a monster. It felt like we were going to rip the car apart. So now we got to go to the other side and replicate what we've done over here. I'm so happy about this. You know, I'm going to drive around somewhere with those up. <laughs> yeah. More cars need to have doors like this. I don't know what Toyota's so scared of. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it seems perfectly safe. They open out ish. In case anybody is thinking about safety stuff with this vehicle, we're not allowed to have windows and we're not allowed to have a windshield. So if this dark car does ever flip over, uh, you know, there's a lot of places to climb out of. Or we could install more gas struts. And as Oscar said, just open the door and it'll flip the car over. So we shall team up, jump onto this other side and get it busted out. are inside the car so as you can see we got the whole the whole shebang all mounted up we got the hinge the gas shock the everything so these guys want to want to emulate the door situation go ahead and open your doors oh butamus <laughs> oh man i love that look it's kind of it's a little bit batmobile-esque with the big tires and the that looks so freaking cool though man those doors just go all the way up they are not similar at all. They both go the same height. Oh, sh**. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit scary. That was a little sketchy. Well, we know what it'd be like if you were about to die. Yeah. I'd just yell, oh, sh**. <laughs> I guess the car can't fall that far. Luckily, the door hinges are great. They don't, they don't go down at all. The doors didn't even budge. Look, so if you stand right in the middle. Yeah, we don't have the limiter on that one yet. Oh, yeah. We oh, oh, okay. That's why they're not the same. We need to adjust the limiter. <laughs> that was sketchy. Okay, so that door still needs a little bit of adjustment. But, uh, damn, this looks so cool, man. I'm so happy about this. It's a silly thing to do for a race car, but, I mean, we had to do it on some car. Why not this one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we need more than one jack stand in the front and one in the back. Oh, my God, that was a close one. It's very, very late, if you guys can't tell. That's why we haven't done all the final adjustments on that door. Um, we have to catch a flight, what, in, like, three and a half hours. We have to be at the airport, and we're, we just finished working. So we still got to go home and get cleaned up and... Uh, yeah, we are we're heading off to st. Louis for the next episode to uh, go check out our engine for this vehicle It's gonna be a really cool trip. I hope you join us for that. Thank you so much for watching another shout out to Mullins for sponsoring us with not only this door But this entire vehicle check them out. The link is in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching We'll see you on the next one Oscar. I'm glad you're still alive Peace. Oh wait ending note by the way This is the first time the entire BS for build crew is flying anywhere together uh, so if the plane does crash, this vehicle is to be finished by Chris Fix and Rob Dom. That way at least we will be remembered for another nine, ten years easy.